I and all ministers are committed to leaving on this date, whatever the circumstances, and to do otherwise would cause a catastrophic loss of confidence in our political system. It would leave the British people wondering whether their politicians could ever be trusted again to follow a clear democratic instruction. I would prefer us to leave the EU with a deal. I would much prefer it. I believe that it is possible even at this late stage, and I will work flat out to make it happen. But certain things need to be clear. I hope that the EU will be equally ready and that they will rethink their current refusal to make any changes to the withdrawal agreement. If they do not, if they do not, we will of course have to leave the UK without an agreement under Article 50. The UK is better prepared for that situation than many believe. But we are not as ready yet as we should be. In the 98 days that remain to us, we must turbocharge our preparations to make sure that there is as little disruption as possible to our national life. And I believe that that is possible with the kind of national effort that the British people have made before and will make again. And these, in these circumstances, we would, of course, have available the £39 billion in the withdrawal agreement to help deal with any consequences. <laughs> we will be able to look back on this period, this extraordinary period, as the beginning of a new golden age for our United Kingdom. And I commend, I commend this future to the House just as much as I commend this statement, yeah. Mr Speaker. Yeah.